And boom, we got Spider-Man. Why be easy when you can just die? Woo! Woo! I'm Chewy Mew, and welcome to my channel, but more specifically, welcome to a Chewy Mew review on the Toy Biz Spider-Man Classics Craven the Hunter. With all of his accessories that are technically not his, so I recently got the Toy Biz Sinister 6 box set, brand new, and it came with Craven's weapons, and based on research that I've done, uh, both versions of Craven come with the same weapons. They both come with this kind of bolus gun looking thing, I think that's what it's called. And then they come with this knife, and then that other knife. Um, this is the one that came in the box set, but unfortunately you can see it's very warped. I'm gonna heat this up. So for the review, I'm just using the knife that he came with. He came with one of his knives. This one does have a, a scratch right there. I'm gonna put it like that so you can see it. Yeah, so it's it's painted nicely. These, uh, these, uh, like, bolts or whatever, those things that are supposed to hold the knife in, this one has them painted on. This one, the paint is kind of wearing off. And then we also have, uh, this knife here, too. Yeah, so it has that, uh, this mark on both sides and those little blade-looking things on the side. I don't know anything about knives or weapons. I just know that it looks like a knife. And you can hold it. He does have, uh, finger articulation. The four fingers move together. And, uh, on this hand, his wrist is a bit loose because he's old, so it, you know, kind of makes sense. Um, and you can get him to hold either knife in either hand. They do stay in. I'm shaking them. They do stay in fairly decently. Like, if you're shaking this guy or you throw him at something, they're probably going to fall out. This knife doesn't stay in as good. Oh, never mind. It does. Never mind. Okay. But if you just put him on a shelf there, have him in a pose on a shelf, the weapons aren't going to fall out of his hand. Unfortunately, this gun is another story. Honestly, it would kind of help if it had something to, like, loop his fingers through a little. He can't hold the gun very good with that hand, but he can with this one, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the wrist is kind of loose, so he's not, you're not really going to be able to, like, you couldn't play with this thing with this. He would just fall out. That happened with my Craven, where I had to just, I would have, he'd be holding the weapon, and I would pretend that he's holding it like this, because in reality, he can't really hold it that good. It's it's not very good. He needs, inter, uh, like, if the fingers are just pre-posed, that would work way better. And it's painted silver because it doesn't look uh, like marbly or anything. These missiles, I think, are just made black and they're painted silver. We could actually take these out. Um, you could see they're just uh, they're just like solid black plastic. But it has a gimmick, so it's, you're not going to see it. And then it has that slit on the bottom, which slides across these like that. And it also has a rope. It's a pretty good length rope. Compared to like a figure, it's, it's taller. It's taller than Craven. Um, and then you flick this missile, the sight, or whatever that thing is called, is painted, uh, painted red. On this side, painted as well. This part, originally I thought you press this down to make the gimmick shoot, but you actually flip this lever right here. The wood is painted, uh, pretty nicely, I would say. Uh, there's the sculpt on it. It's painted pretty good. There are some parts where the paint does look kind of globby, but honestly, that's not very noticeable. If it was, like, on a very obvious spot, that'd be bad. But, like, on the bottom of the gun, like, who cares? You're not really going to see that. So, uh, here we go. Ready? And boom, we got Spider-Man. And also, I didn't show here, but that slit on the back allows you to put the weapon on. I think you can you can put both weapons there. His head is completely different color than his torso. And that's because uh, his arms and legs, they're sculpted in this, like, this his skin color plastic. And then the, the face is sculpted in black. This one, unfortunately, his neck is kind of damaged on it, which it does kind of help with articulation, is that this head is cast in, or it's made in black plastic. So then Toy Biz had to paint the face a lot in order to make it not, you know, be black plastic anymore so it matches his skin color. That doesn't happen with the Sinister Six version because his face is sculpted in the skin color plastic and then the hair and the details are painted on it. But as far as the actual face is this grinning, which I kind of like Toy Biz did that sometimes with like repaints. You get this guy with like an angry yelling face, then you get that guy with a kind of closed smiling looking face. Which, uh, so it's cool that it looks like the same guy, just he, it's the same dude making a different expression. And the hair is painted nicely as well. I mean, technically it's not painted because it's black, but the face is painted nicely onto the black. There's a little bit of black on the ear. Some parts might just be paint rub, uh, just due to it being old. The face is painted nicely, the teeth are clean, the, the lips, the lips are like lipstick color. Or they're like pink, but it doesn't look like he's wearing lipstick. It just looks normal. The goatee is painted cleanly. His mustache as well. The eyes, I feel like that eye is, he's looking, if I turn that on, does that help? Yeah. Yeah, that eye, never mind. It looks kind of like his right eye is looking up a little bit more than the left. But it's not that big of a deal. It is kind of noticeable. And then the eyebrows, painted good as well. Sinister Six has hair on the arms and the chest. Again, I said this arm is different, though. 
Um, but yeah, this one has a hairy chest, this one doesn't, which I think either looks fine. The lion face is painted nicely, the eyes, both eyes are kind of looking up, but that's just how the sculpt is. This part just has a black wash over it, which is painted pretty nicely. It doesn't look like super messy and globby. It looks pretty good there. On the underside, there's no paint there, but you're not going to see that part. The back also has like nice fabric wrinkles and stuff. And this is a very squishy PVC material. This material is like the material Hasbro makes their joints out of. So like Miles Morales here is like super gummy joints. Like look at that, He's super gummy. Like like this guy's jacket, but it's supposed to be. So it can be flexible and stuff. And I don't know if the paint is actually supposed to look like this or it looks like... Like I guess people are touching the leg and stuff when you move it. So the paint is rubbing off. Because it should have a more prominent white streak going down here. Kind of like this one does. On the back you can see it's weird how on the back it looks way cleaner. But I guess you're not touching like the back of his legs as much as you are the front. Because you're typically holding him facing towards you. The uh, like the diaper looking piece or the upper part of his pants has the white strap or white white line or whatever on the back of it but not on the front which I don't know if I don't know if it's I think it would look good if it were painted but or might look weird these gauntlets here also have the black bands and then they're white these are all the color of his skin and then they just painted the black and the white and it's painted very nicely you know the lines are clean where the uh, where the black transitions to white it's very nice there's like a little bit of paint blemish there and like a little bit of scratching there but overall it's painted nicely. Another thing the body has, if you look at his chest and his arms, he's matte plastic. He's not like super glossy and shiny like, that's not really the best example. Like Doc Ock here, how you can see he's like super glossy and shiny with light bounces on him. But if you look at his chest and his arms, there's light, but it's not like super prominent light. And that looks cool. This is a different color, which is kind of weird. On the bottom of his feet, it says uh, 2002 Marvel Entertainment, Toy Biz Worldwide 2002. This one says Made in China. And it does have peg holes, which you can't put them on the Sinsha 6 display base. You can't put them on a base. This is Spider-Man's base from the box set. But uh, his feet haven't been put on bases in years, probably. So the pegs are really tight. But yeah, you could if you force them on, you could put them on a base. I would say, honestly, one articulation issue. Uh, the head does... I mean, this one, the neck is broken, so he has a lot of range. But originally, his head can like move like, like that's it. That, and then like rotates... But you couldn't look up or down much. You could look down, but looking up was like, that's it. That's all you got. So, like, not a ton of range there. He has bicep swivel. The arms go out all the way to the side, or as much as the uh, the vest allows. Unfortunately, the arms, that's as far forward as you can get his arms to go. His neck is, like, super loose now. I'm going to have to, like, fix that. Um, that's as far up as his arms go. And they, they go back farther. It does pull the jacket, which is nice. So you can get his arm going back. Like I said, yeah, going forward, that's as good as you're going to do. Can't really put his arms up. He has double-jointed elbows, which have good range. His rotation here in the wrist. He doesn't have a hinge in the wrist, but if we're being honest, like if he had a hinge in the wrist, that's not going to be that useful. So one thing I learned uh, from Anthony's Customs, actually, um, is that for like a weapon, you need a hand that goes like that. So you're holding a knife, and if you move your hand like that, like that's not going to help you. You need to move down so you can like angle the knife or angle it forward so he could have it like at angles because if he's holding it you want him to do like have him point the knife like that or like that but moving the knife like this like that's not going to do much so honestly not having the hinges doesn't affect it that much what does affect this guy is no ab crunch like th the torso sculpting is nice and they could have like put a diaphragm right where his muscles are because it could even look kind of ugly and that would be okay because the jacket covers it so they could have given him at least a diaphragm that at least has, like, a little wiggle or something, you know? Unfortunately, no torso articulation, which kind of sucks. He does a waist swivel, which, you know, works good. He can do the full-on splits. He can go a little past the splits, which is nice. The legs go back, not really at all. They go forward all the way, which is pretty nice. He has a thigh swivel there. And they don't look like balls. So if, if Toby's figures with ball joints or visible balls bugs you, then this guy doesn't have it. And the hips don't stick out too much. This kind of makes it look kind of normal. But he's double jointed knee, which has like perfect range. The ankle goes forward almost all the way, pretty much all the way, and goes back almost all the way. He does have an ankle pivot, which is like super not very good. But using the ankle pivot, you can get his legs spread that far with them. Uh, but, you know, Toybus figures, even without an ankle pivot, the feet are like sculpted well enough that you can get him to spread his legs that much. His feet aren't flat on the ground, but he can still, you can do a wide stance and he doesn't fall over. And then he has a toe joint. 
which is really good range going forward, which is nice. And they're not like loose. They're like a little bit loose, but he's not going to like fall down or anything. I don't think. Maybe you can. Okay, you can. Never mind. And I'm going to do a shake test. Shake my desk here. Okay, I didn't even shake the desk. But yeah, he, he falls down if you stand him on his toes. But, but either way, that's all for this video. Let me know what think about this figure. And I'll see you guys in the next review. You can't look up. Wow. Wow.